Alrighty guys, so this is a camera versus test, which pretty much means I'm putting my old camera next to my new camera in a video test. Hope you guys can see me okay. Um, I don't know how you, okay. So this is my new camera right here. EOS Canon Rebel T100. Pretty good camera. Uh, it's great. Uh, I hope I can sync these up properly. It even has a flip screen. Alright, oh, yeah, hold on. No, I did break this camera quite a bit. Well, not really. <laughs> um, so, this is what happens to Canon cameras. They're really easy fixes, but, um, so I did break my little eyepiece here, which I could probably, I can buy a replacement, but thing is I actually broke it off the thing. Like, the plastic's actually stuck to this, which is an easy fix. I could actually, um, measure it and kind of, like, create one with, like, a really thin line of super glue. Um, I'll have to buy a new one of these, which are like a dollar or something. The other one is the battery compartment. After a while of opening the battery and shutting it, the, um, there's a little dot thing that when it goes into each other, it locks and it tells the camera that it's shut. Those break after a year. That, 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 like, after a year, they can break very easy. And it's very easy to fix. You just take the screws off the camera, take the back plate off, and punch that little pin out, or that thing that, uh, reads it. And then it will, even if the battery compartment's open, it will stay on. So if I end up leaving this camera on, and, and I don't have the auto off on, it's just going to die. Like, I can have this actual thing open, and um, it still wouldn't sh it shut off. Which is actually kind of useful. So, because that means I can take the compartment completely off, and then when I'm on a tripod, I can uh, get one of those things and just switch batteries out, and it wouldn't even mess it up. Which is pretty cool. Um, I do have this little wipe thing, but it's not what I want right now. This is my, uh, for this one. Kind of useless right now, but considering I'm just using the other thing. Uh, yeah, alright, ready? I'm gonna go ahead and put the, I don't know if this thing's charged at all, but it's fine. I guess. Alright, ready? 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one, now. The dragon flew over the sky. Now guys, the reason why I do that is so I can sync the audio up in the editor. And uh, now you're hearing me and looking at me through my new camera. And this is with low lighting. The other one, uh, let me take this off of this so I can, you guys can see me even better. See, it kind of gets too rough. But see, now I'm standing back so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, the focus on here is a lot better, even in low light. The stabilization's pretty good, except my hands are very shaky, so I do have to hold this with two cameras most of the time. Or two can two hands. Um, sometimes it is better if I hold it with a hold it by the lens, which actually does help more in stabilization. Um, yeah, I hope that it's on medium, so I'm hoping you guys can't hear it. Um, the audio on this one is totally better, like, already. Uh, the auto, like, the, because the microphones are auto, it will amp the, uh, gain up depending on how good it is. This one has that feature too, but it does not really work at all. Like, this thing's better to put it on manual. This is a Canon Rebel T100, pretty much a T3i and a T2i body, which makes no sense. Or really all of them. A lot of the Rebels, they use the same body type as the T2i. I think that's the first one. The T1i and T2i, that's the first kind that didn't have like a, you know what I mean. Which just, you know. But yeah, this thing has the... This is pretty much the uh, audio and video test of this. Now, it wouldn't be fair if they're both sitting. So, I am going to go ahead and actually set this one down. Um, yeah, this is both cam cameras right now facing towards me. And I can't, I actually cannot wait to see how this turns out. Um, hold on. Phew. Christ. What I'm using right now, since I don't have a softener, is just one of those like tech wipes or whatever, which really helps. Look, that is so much softer. It's still really bright, like it's still really bright, but look how much softer that is now compared to this. 
awful. Not, now, having light is not a bad thing, but see, cameras, you need it to have it softer because then certain parts are overexposed. Now my whole body's even with light, except maybe by the door, but whatever. Um, what also messes me up is that these lights are orange instead of white. I need something, I think it's 5600K, I think that's blue. Hold on, let me look that up real quick. Um, yeah. Now you get to see the quality of pretty much both cameras. Um, oh, this one probably looked bad the whole time. Here, there you go. I get to actually see it fair and square now. Uh, yeah, deuces. Yep, I knew that was gonna grab my deodorant.